These are some of the rarest things in Minecraft history. But what's the rarest? You might think it's one of these, right? Wrong. Since there's a mob which is 1.2 trillion times rarer. And it's my goal to sneak these rare mobs into my world without getting caught by my live stream. And then brutally kill them right in front of thousands of people. The story begins here. So the stream had just begun and no one in my chat was suspicious. Only they should have been. See, I built this house just before the stream and hid TNT under the floor. You'll see what these for in a moment. My friend who was secretly hiding on the roof was going to spawn our first rare mob, the charged creeper. It was go time when the creeper was now planted outside my house. I also disabled my sounds before the stream so no one could hear it because if I got caught I'd be publicly humiliated. I accidentally let the creeper inside my house. It's going inside. The first rare mob had just been eliminated and no one in my chat had even caught me out. And that was just the first of eight levels. I had to make it all the way to the rarest mob without being caught and things were about to get risked. The second rare occurrence was now underway and my chat hadn't even noticed. So I entered this Minecraft village. Well, actually, that's a lie. This is a rare zombie village with only a 2% chance of spawning. And on the topic of spawning, I copy and pasted and spawned this entire village in before the stream. It needed a little bit of work and it was ready. But this was nothing compared to what I was going to do next. People in chat had started to get suspicious. And since the next mob had a 1 in 15,000 chance of spawning, I had to be very careful careful. But luckily, I was prepared. My plan was to use the village as a distraction, and it had worked. And it was time to release the diamond helmet zombie. Before the stream, I'd set up this trap chest inside the house, and opening the chest would release the zombie from the secret chamber just inside this hill. And hopefully, this meant that the zombie would be released secretly without anyone seeing. Ladies and gentlemen, it was showtime. I entered the house and brought myself inside to buy myself some time. I was praying that nothing was going to go wrong, and it was time to open the chest. The chest was active and no one in the chat had noticed. Now I went outside to see the zombie, but realized something had gone wrong. There was no zombie there. I started to panic because I knew that the contraption had failed. So I went back and tried the chest again. It turns out that the zombie had actually despawned. Now I only had one solution left, and this was going to be very, very risky. Whilst I was dying on my stream to the zombies, I was secretly messaging my friend on my phone to get online and please come and spawn another zombie. And a few moments later, here he was. <laughs> Um, so I was distracting the stream whilst he went into spectator mode and used a command block to get another zombie into the world. Now, by some miracle, we had actually done it. And no one in the chat had even noticed. Why try in there? So I went ahead and casually just killed this rare mob. I was now at level 3 and I was standing right on top of the next rare mob. Let's rewind. Back at the start of the stream, I purposely ran over this very normal looking pathway. Only... These aren't real blocks. Before the stream started, I photoshopped these trapdoors to look like dirt path blocks. Meaning that I could create a secret compartment under the ground that no one else would see. And this is where the rare pink sheep would be hiding. My friend would be waiting in the chamber with the sheep. And once my stream were distracted, he would secretly sneak it out of this entrance and lead it into the wild. As if it had spawned completely naturally. My friend was in position and it was go time. So he drank an invis potion and started bringing the sheep out. I had to make sure I faced the other direction to ensure sure that my audience didn't see. But things were getting worse. See, the sheep was getting stuck on the staircase and it was refusing to move. All while the entire hidden contraption was open for the world to see. My friend had to hurry, but we didn't have much time. But by some miracle, the sheep had come free and it was now in position, ready for my stream to witness. My viewers were in love with this sheep. So I grabbed my shears and I went ahead and sheared such a beautiful and rare Minecraft creature. Just kidding. I slaughtered the sheep right in front of my viewers. I then ate the sheep and then threw it on the floor. I was reading the chat and trying so hard not to laugh. Why did you kill it? You're an awful human being. But whilst my chat were distracted, I was already at number four. I began by finding this chest. You'll see what these are for in a moment. I then approached this pool of axolotls. And you might be thinking, Spifey, where's the blue axolotl? Isn't that the rarest mob in Minecraft? So allow me to introduce what I I like to call the Breeder 3000. The plan was to put two axolotls inside this water pool and use fish to breed them. But this wouldn't spawn a blue axolotl. So I built this secret mechanism behind the cave wall and it could only be activated using a jukebox with this specific disc. And this would activate a hidden piston dropping the non-rare axolotl into a pit of lava and burning it alive. And the jukebox would mask the sound of its suffering. And the super rare blue axolotl would drop down from the ceiling and take its place. It was go time and I was nervous so 
I did what anyone would do and killed some innocent creatures. My audience were watching my every move, so I had to be super careful since the rarest mob was just around the corner. But I had work to do, so I put the two axolotls into the chamber. And I turned around at the exact second, giving my friend time to spawn the fish we needed for breeding. It was time to place the jukebox, and I don't think my audience had liked it when I killed the axolotls. Can't really tell. I put the disc in, and it was done. And I ran away to let the breeder 3000 get to work. Only it didn't. Because something had gone wrong, and this time I didn't think I could fix it. The blue axolotl had been released and had fallen straight into the lava and died. And my friend had no clue how to fix it. He was panicking. I was panicking. I didn't even know what to say on the stream at this point. And the audience were getting more and more suspicious. But somehow, my friend had done the impossible. He drank an invis potion, secretly climbed inside the contraption, spawned another axolotl, kinda, and fixed all of the redstone. Ladies and gentlemen, it had worked. We now had the finest blue axolotl waiting for me, and my viewers had been encouraging the death of an innocent baby creature without even knowing it. And finally, the moment I had been waiting for. I swung my sword once, and the rare blue axolotl had been slaughtered right in front of my viewers. I think it went quite well. The chat began to erupt into a riot, so much so that they didn't notice I'd accidentally exposed half of my contraption. I saw this as an opportunity and quickly moved on to number four. Five. But actually, I was already there. <laughs> See, this is a bamboo jungle hills biome with only a 0.009% chance of spawning. And oh boy, what I had planned for this place, my chat were going to be angry. Well, they already were. And it also happens that this is the biome where the rare brown panda spawns. But these, these are just distractions. See, I placed something here which is much, much rarer. This jungle temple has a 1 in 100 million chance of spawning. But you'll see what I have planned for this shortly. In the meantime, I was entering the jungle and my audience were quick to notice the brown pandas. I was going to kill the pandas, but someone in my chat made a really good observation. Pandas are a passive mob. Now, whilst this is true, the pandas kept getting in my way. So I did the only logical thing and wiped out the entire species. The deed was done, but I had made a mistake. I had made my tactics far too obvious and the viewers had finally caught me out. Only, that's what they thought. See, I hadn't actually killed a single brown panda this entire stream. Before the stream, I I went into Photoshop and changed the texture on every single panda in the game, meaning that the black pandas now look like brown pandas. Now, even though this had gone well, I now had another problem. I needed to get out of the jungle, but I didn't make it very far. See, this bamboo is far too dense to get through, which unfortunately meant that I had to burn down one of the rarest biomes in Minecraft. Now, whilst burning down this forest was satisfying, let's not forget about the jungle temple. And I had to show this to my stream because it was soon going to disappear. Disappear? Allow me to explain. See, my audience suggested that I should try and find a temple, but they were so busy rioting that they didn't realize it was above me the entire time. Before the stream, I'd secretly filled the entire temple with 300 blocks of TNT, and this was wired to a pressure plate on the ground down below, meaning that I could destroy one of the rarest things in Minecraft history with, uh, with my toe. I ran towards the pressure plate, making sure my audience couldn't see, and it was activated. It was only a little explosion. As the world unfolded into chaos, I ran away trying not to laugh. What's that noise? I don't hear anything. The chat was going crazy and the explosion was still going. So I ran away knowing that this mission had been a success. It was time to abandon ship. But actually, that's exactly what I just found. And this ship has a 1 in 500 million chance of spawning. You heard that right. See, I was now at number 6. And for my next mechanism, I needed to get some blocks. You'll see why in a moment. But unfortunately, the nearest box happened to be the super rare shipwreck. And since my audience had just started to appreciate this structure, it was the perfect time to vandalize it. I'm kidding. I only took a couple of blocks. And a couple more, and a couple more. And before I knew it, I had dismantled the entire ship right in front of my audience. Whilst my audience were upset by this, it was time to put these blocks to use. Let's fast forward. My next victim was going to be the baby arctic fox. The plan was to drop a random item on this ice. And following laws of nature, the item would slide into these hidden hoppers. That's probably enough, right? Wrong. Then secretly powering this redstone connected to these pistons. So the fox would secretly be pushed out from under the ground destroying this snow block. It was go time and I was now approaching the secret mechanism. So I got into the position and pretended like I was throwing trash on the floor. And the items had fallen down, but somehow they had missed the hoppers. So I went back for round two and the mechanism was activated, releasing the fox. And no one in my chat had noticed the mechanism with the fox. But I wasn't actually going to kill the fox. Uh 
Oh. I had now entered into the desert and just over the horizon was the rarest mob in Minecraft. But in my way stood a very rare desert temple. But this has a 1 in 400 million chance as it spawns without any TNT or chests. And of course I'd set this up for the stream but on the way I had to get some cactus. And little did my viewers know that these cacti were far too small. Because I was talking about this. <laughs> Behold, the largest cactus in Minecraft history with a 0 0.0000 not not one percent chance i'd set this up before the stream but my chat would think that this was fake because it was far too big to be true i was halfway done cutting down the tallest cactus in minecraft when we had another problem my viewers had become so suspicious that someone else was secretly on my server that they demanded i press tab only if i'd done this they would see my friend had been online the entire time i needed a solution and i needed one fast and somehow in that moment a miracle had happened my game had crashed and taken me to the main menu just as the viewer were about to expose me, I had saved myself. See, this crash screen was completely fake. Before the stream, I recreated the entire Minecraft title screen, but this was also a rare occurrence. See, this doesn't even say Minecraft, because there's a 1 in 10,000 chance that the title screen will be spelled incorrectly, and no one in my chat had even noticed. It was now time to reveal the rarest mob in Minecraft history, and in front of me stood a very complex mechanism that I'd set up for this exact moment. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Bob. With a 1 in 163 quintillion chance. I had waited days for this moment to kill the rarest mob in Minecraft right in front of my live stream. He was released into the contraption which would slowly push him towards his death and the viewers were going crazy. <laughs> Goodbye Bob. It has been a pleasure. Do the honors Bob.